Hey guys, this is Mike Blackburn with Add-ons for Limo Anywhere. I wanted to hop in here today and teach you guys about custom portals, show you how to set them up. Um, for those of you that aren't aware what a custom portal is, a custom portal is a solution that we designed to allow you guys to give your clients a custom branded booking page or booking widget uh, that you can apply certain permissions to based on uh, the people accessing it and give them a really easy way to book. Now this can be done for events, conferences, corporate clients, or, or for hotels if you're doing contract work, for example. Um, you can give permissions for the concierge versus the guests to book, you know, so the concierge can maybe bill it to the room versus the guest would have to put in a credit card. Um, we're just trying to streamline your booking process and allow you to be more sticky with your end riders, uh, again, with that custom uh, booking page. Um, so let's start out here. I'm going to spin one up, uh, for example, let's say uh, the Ritz. Ritz Carlton, Sarasota. And let's go ahead and pick out a logo. Now this can be your logo, it can be the hotel logo. Of course, you'd want to get permission to be able to use theirs. Um, if you're not doing contract work with a hotel, we've had several clients just spin these up and able to land meetings for that hotel just by getting them uh, a custom booking page to show uh, how easy it would be to use your services. So we've got an active start date and really this active start and end date is based on um, when you want the, uh, the booking portal to be active. Um, you can have limitations on this. The idea for limitations is if you're hosting a wedding or a conference, and you don't want them to be booking beyond that window that you're providing this service. So you can have it start and end whenever you'd like. If you're doing a hotel or a reoccurring like corporate work, you might have it go out a couple of years. And then you have a minimum booking date and a maximum booking date. So you can have this portal start way before the event and then limit your booking dates to the week of the event should you want. Now, just based on my example here, we're going to set this off way into the future because I don't want this to cut off anybody at the hotel uh, that might want to use this. Now, we have a minimum hours before booking. This is to prevent anybody from booking before you be able to supply them service. Let's just put in two hours before booking. That's our only lead time we need. And this is where we can say we require a phone number, email, we can allow notes, we can allow a vehicle type selection or service type selection. We can prompt for a round trip uh, right on the widget just to remind them that they might need to get back and to make sure that you're capturing that return business. Um, this does integrate with our quote close platform. So should you have our lead quote closed platform, you can design specific rates for specific portals. And this can reference those rates. Um, this can also be used for the aliases if you're using our lead quote platform as well. I'm going to stay away from that for right now just because that's more advanced uh, setup. Um, we're going to go ahead and allow multiple stops, allow for custom pickup and drop off addresses. Um, we are going to prompt for payment details. Um, if this is a contract shuttle, I mean a contract service or something like that, you might not need to prompt for payment details. Now, we can also prompt for separate names on credit card. That way, if you're using a, um, you know, an admin to book trips or whatnot, you can get a separate name. We're just going to keep that simple right there. Um, we also have the ability to collect uh, a PO or an RO or even a room number should you design one of these for the concierge and you've got a billing agreement set up for them. That way they can punch in a room number and we'll submit that into the trip in Limo Anywhere under the PO RO uh, field. Um, we're going to put in some really simple welcome text um, and then we can have a 
fixed group name. This really only applies if you're doing, excuse me, an event or a wedding or something like that. You're going to want to set a default status. That way, when we import the trip, we'll have it assigned or unassigned or, um, you know, pending whatever status you want. A lot of operators choose to have this uh, set as online and eFarmin. That way it notifies you, you can accept it. And if you're not using our, our lead quote platform, you can accept it, price it, and then confirm it. Down here, we've got a welcome instructions field. You can uh, put in any HTML using our source code editor. Uh, you can input any pictures, anything that you want in there. And then we have a footer text, um, you know, pick up and drop instructions, you know, two hours before your flight time. Uh, things like that would go into the welcome instructions or into the footer text. I'm just going to keep it simple. We're going to hit our portal right here. Um, we're going to come back to this portal in this list now. And if you can see, we've opened up some more options. I'm going to match our header color to the back of this logo right here. Um, we are going to say we're going to allow multiple passenger names should you want. Now, if you don't need multiple passenger names and you only care about John Smith times three, then you can uncheck that. Um, over here, we can select our, our available service types that they can choose from. So I'm just going to keep it simple. We're going to do to airport, from airport. Let's do a point-to-point -point as well. Um, we're going to prompt for child seats. We can prompt for meet and greet. Um, we're going to hide payment details type. That way, if they just select credit card, it's not going to show credit card and card. Or if they select room charge, it's not going to specify room. Um, you'll see what I'm saying once we get to the next level here. So we can send you a, or or whoever you want a book in default uh, email. Uh, so and we have a fair amount of variables you can choose from to be able to build this email. That way, if your team needs to be emailed anytime there is a booking here, or if uh, a concierge at the hotel needs to be emailed every time there's a booking, uh, you can set this up to go out. So we're going to update our portal one more time and hop back over to common stops. Now because I selected custom stops, we are going to be able to take custom stops as well as any stops I specify in this drop down here. So we've got a couple options. We have a normal stop and this will be an address of course. And then we have an airport and we'll prompt for flight details. We also have an FBO option as well. That'll collect tail number and arrival time for you. So let's just start out with a, an airport. Um, Let's do, I don't know, what's a Sarasota Airport? Let's do Tampa. I don't even know if that's close. So, oops, I think that's TPA. So we'll call it Tampa Airport, TPA, Florida. Uh, we're going to allow for both pickups and drop-offs at that. And hit Create. If you come down here, we're going to see that listed under stops, pick up drop-offs, flight info. We're going to add a new one. Let's look up the Ritz here. I should have had that address ready. All right, there we go. So let's do... Ritz Carlton, Sarasota. We're in Florida. We're going to use our zip here. And we can choose to either expose a full blast or just have them pick the Ritz Carlton, Sarasota um, in their drop down. So Everything looks pretty good in here. We've got two common stops plus any co uh, custom stops that they want to put in. Um, we're going to go ahead and make an agent. The idea of an agent is to give people different permissions based on their landing pages. So, for example, an agent could be a concierge, and a concierge can use a room number charge. 
Uh, but if you wanted to create a new agent, you could limit them to only certain vehicle types and only credit card pages. So we'll just start out here. Um, we'll just Ritz Carlton guests. And the email really doesn't matter because they're not going to use this to sign into anything. Um, we can prompt for a booking contact. That way, if there's a separate booking contact for each, you know, you can do that. Uh, we're going to just select address names only. That way, in the drop down, it's not going to show uh, who's uh, what the address is for each stop. It'll just show Tampa Airport or Ritz Carlton, Sarasota. And we can do free form passengers or look up by account number or a combination of both. Being that this is a hotel, we're going to do free form passengers. If you're using this for an admin and a corporate account, you're probably going to want to look up by account number and then assign one account to each portal. So we'll add an agent and continue to add accounts. Um, we can have an SMS keyword right here. So if I wanted to make a keyword like Ritz or whatever, we can use that keyword, and once they text the number selected in your add-ons account, or your Ring Central, or your ZipWhip number, they can text that keyword in, and then get the portal sent to them to their mobile. Um, really, really handy for distribution for conferences and whatnot. Uh, we can change our time format: 24 or 12 hour up to you and then we can have a separate booking email notice go to anybody you should choose for this uh, for any new bookings right here so we can create accounts that they can select or we can just have one account or we can have no account so I'm just gonna add oh, I'm gonna just pull one account here You know what? I don't have any accounts that I can access in my test account. I apologize. Um, over here, you would just put an account number here, and it would populate your account. Then you hit Add, and it'll add the account. If you add multiple accounts, it will allow them to select between the accounts. Um, most of the time, you're only going to have one account, and that way it doesn't even prompt for it, but all the trips are going to go under that one account. Right here, you've got payment methods that they can select. Now, if this is your first time in here, you're going to want to click Manage. And then when you manage your new payment methods, you're going to match your credit card to credit card, you know, room to direct bill, direct bill to bill, things like that. Uh, if you've already done that, we interpret credit card as being a card. Uh, you don't need to do that. So we're going to select credit card here, add payment type, hit OK. You know, if you want to give them a build a room option, you can do that. If you want to give them uh, a direct bill option, you can do that. If you're not collecting any payment at all and you're just doing direct bill, you can select direct bill and they won't even have to select anything at all. I'm going to keep it simple and just keep it on credit card right here. And next, we're going to go to the vehicle types that are allowed to be selected. So you can select a vehicle type and then you can rename it whatever you want. Luxury sedan, let's call it. And let's put that number one in order, and we'll hit Add Vehicle. Now, we can also, let's say we add an SUV. So, you might want to specify the passenger count here. So, we'll say one, two, what, five passengers. And we'll put that too. So now we've got vehicles to take from. Again, if you're doing a concierge page versus a, a guest page, you might want to allow the concierge to book your shuttle or your sprinter, things like that. You can give different permissions to different agents. You'll find your portal link up here. We can just hit that copy button and open that portal up in a new tab and view what it looks like. Um, 
we can also give you an iframe. So an iframe would just be the booking widget that would be embedded on a lead page of your choice, of your design. So if you're using, if you're doing PPC, uh, you know, keyword, things like that, if you want to have a back, uh, a, a, a page on your site that is strictly going to allow uh, clients to book through this widget, you would use that iframe and that widget would live on that page. Right here, we've got our booking page. First name, last name, phone number, all required, child seat options, they can pick different types of seats. Our service types that we've allowed them to select are vehicle types, and they'll show the aliases that I put in there. We've got pickup date, pickup time, your addresses right here. These are our stops that we put in, and then your custom address. We can add additional stops since I allowed for that permission. We have special instructions that we'll implement uh, into the notes field. And then we've got payment method for credit card. We collect that credit card and put it in the trip in limo anywhere uh, so you can bill it uh, as necessary. We've got a book one way or a book one way and then to return trip information down here. And then any of those instructions would, if you use those instruction field, they would appear right under this welcome Ritz Carlton guest. Um, if you're using the footer, it would appear down here in the footer of the page. Another neat aspect of this is you can actually go in and relabel any of these fields uh, in your booking portal. So if I went into our booking portal, we've got a labels tab. Let's say you're hosting people from another country or you're operating in another country and you want to change the language of any of these fields. You can do that. If you want to put in uh, a, a different label for special instructions, you can do that. Anything that you're going to change here is going to change on your end booking page. Again, it's really nice to be able to do if you need to get, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, different languages put into that um, or, or whatever. You can manage all of that right there. And you just would hit update in the end and that would reflect your changes on your final page. Now, you can have one portal and you can have as many agents for that portal as you would like and each agent gets their own landing page again. So we can design one for the guest, one for the concierge, we can make um, you know, uh, different ones for different admins that give them permissions to different things. So really that's how you make a custom portal. Uh, I hope this helps a little bit. Uh, hope it helps land some meetings and allows you to become more sticky with your clients. If you need anything at all or you want advice uh, or any assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, 703-794-6100 or support at artistmode.com. Uh, and that'll go to all of us. We're happy to get on with you and help you through any any aspects of our platform. Thanks again for your time, and I wish you well.